So I'm hoping that the internet's a lot better. It was reset, so we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and start this over again. Yay! Thank you, Mama Duck Duke. All right, so let's go ahead and just get our area cleansed again. Yay, thank you. All right. We'll get the Palo Santo again going. I love the smell of this. Oh, Good job. So, so we're gonna do some Reiki tonight. Um, but the Reiki that we're going to do, I'm just using selenite tonight and no other crystals. Well, I lied. I'll probably use my rose quartz too. Um, hi, Peter. So then I, so I'll be using my selenite and my other selenite wand. And what I'm really doing is just trying to remove any dark energy, any stress, anything that, you know, it's just kind of weighing on our energy fields in our body and um, our energy fields, as you know, are our chakras. So I'll be working on that. Hi, Kathleen. And so, yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. So I'm just going to wait and give a couple more people some time to get in. Uh, I probably I feel like I want to sage one more time just because the internet got a little shoddy there for a second. So. Oh, I'm great. Kathleen, how are you doing? Hi, shady lady. Welcome, Jessica. This is sage. This is a red dragon sage. It's actually, I borrowed this one from my daughter because it burns so well and I love it. Even though I have like a hundred of these like little ones. Hi, Gigi. You're doing good. That's good, Kathleen. I'm glad that you're here. Hi, Tara. Hi, Energy Junkie. Hi, User 67207. All right, but yeah, I love this. So anyway, um, this uh, Red Sage, what it does is um, it helps with your root chakra. It helps with, you know, stability, letting go of insecurity. Does Red Sage? It doesn't, it's, well, it smells a little stronger than the other sage, but it's very similar. I don't know, I just love how it burns, so. Even after I set it down, it will still just resonate in the air, I love it. So yeah, so okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. And like I said, I mentioned before, I'm just using selenite tonight and some rose quartz. I'm going to do a body scan, a scanning of the aura. Thank you, 420. Hi, Cecile. Thank you so much, 420. Oh, I can't read right now. I'm just doing Reiki right now. Um... I do have on my bio, if you look in there, you can get a reading from me. Thank you, user 5759. I love that everybody's already consenting. Thank you. And um, So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me just see what happened with my music. Okay. 
Hi, Casey. Who quit vaping? Aw, Jennifer. Congratulations on quitting vaping. That's a big deal. Any addiction that you can let go of, it's a daily struggle. And that takes a, it's a, it takes a lot more strength to not do it than it does to pick up. So good job. All right. So yeah, so keep consenting. Um, hi, guys. Hi, Dancy. Hi, Posey. Hi, Jessica. All right. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. All right, Tara. Hi. Life of views. Okay, so hi, Lulu. Oh, I hope you feel better. Hi, Bang and Staffy. Hi, Maxi. Hi, Blue. Hi, BT. Uh, hi, Shady Lady. Hi, Mela. Cindy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, all right. So I'm just going to begin. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Blue. Hi, Lori. Hi, Holly. Oh, Lulu. Sending healing energy your way. Thank you, Maxie. You're so kind. Oh, hi, Pac fam. That's awesome, Nina. Hi, Blue Eyes. I, every time that I clean my house, like I do every weekend, I do a big sage. I open up the front door and the back door, all the windows. Thank you, Jennifer. Aw, thank you, First Gen. Hi, Anna. Thank you, user 67207. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Mara. Oh, yeah, I love pillows. I love it. Oh, see you in a few, Lulu. Hi, Y2. Hi, old lady. Hi, Beck. Welcome. All right, so right now I'm just doing some scanning, some work on the aura, pulling out anything that is no longer serving you any purpose. Hi, Norma. Hi, Melody. Hi, Leslie. Hi, F. Suma. Hi, Faye. Hi, Spirit. Sprite Tooth. I like that name. Hi, Sleepy. Hi, Basama. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, that's amazing, Kathy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, old lady Gray. Thank you, Tania or Tanya. Hi, Yannick. Hi, Daniel. So right now I'm just continuing scan over. This will go for about 45 minutes tonight. Oh, hi Paula. Thank you. Hi 
it, Ashley. Tak fam. I um just have it on some it's Native American. It has like some flutes, some drums, some chanting. I have a playlist. I'll put it together and put it on my link tree so you guys can use it if you ever need to. Oh, Melly, I'm happy that you're here. Paula, it's great seeing you. Hi, Ivy. You're not late. I just got started 10 minutes ago. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Pacvia. Hi, Amanda. All right. Welcome, Lisa. Hi, Fashionista. Thank you, Faye. You're so sweet. Thank you, Hyro. Hi, sweet Shelly. Thank you, Fort Barney. Hi, Andrea, welcome. Hi, Katie, I'm doing Reiki, but right now I'm not really explaining too much just because I'm doing scanning. If you join my lives, I usually will walk you through and do a guided meditation. But tonight I'm just doing some healing with some selenite. It does, I agree with you, fashionista. Hi, Ibram. I'm happy that you're here, fashionista. Hi, Sierra and Sarah. Thank you, sweet Shelby, for being here. So, normally when I do my Reiki, hi Candace, I like to go with the root chakra and move up to our crown. But tonight, Thank you, Stuart Little. Hi, April. Welcome. Hi, Michelle. So what I'm going to do instead, since tonight we're just doing a body scan with the Reiki, I will just... Hi, Gina. Hi, Miss Becca. Hi, Jen. Thank you. So... I'm going to go with our crown chakra. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Samantha. This can really help with anxiety. Oh, bye, Sarah. Have a good night. Hi, Christy. So I'm going to work with our crown chakra and move down. So as you take a deep breath in, just focus on your scalp right now. Just try to feel every sensation that's happening. That's great, Samantha. Let's exhale and release that air. Thank you, BLS. Let's take another big, deep breath in. And go ahead and exhale and release. Welcome back, Sarah. Good job. And really focus on what the sensations are that are on your scalp right now. Turn off the comments in the center of your screen. Let me see if I know how to do that. I'm not really too sure how to do that. Hmm. Okay. 
Just swipe right. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Hmm. I swear. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I. Yeah, I don't really. I don't know how to do that. So, I'm sorry. I do have children that are very savvy when it comes to TikTok. So next time before I go live, I'll figure out how to do that. But can I ask what the, why I would do that? Just cause I do, I'm not really too sure. Oh, I see, okay. Swiping so works for viewers, but not for, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you. Thank you, VLS. I see, that makes sense. You guys are awesome. I love it. I love how you help each other out. And what I love about seeing all the comments is how supportive you all are of each other too on top of it i always find that i have a lot of empaths that come into this live that i do and i love empaths i think that you guys are the kindest most compassionate people it's like a lot of earth angels that join in here Some don't interact. I like to interact. Thank you, Madison. And I saw you, I need a vacation. I'm happy that you're here tonight. Hi, Cecile, thank you. You are an empath flu echo. I could imagine that, that's awesome. Then Reiki is definitely for your soul. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks so much. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, sweet Shelly. Bye again, Sarah. Hey, Magic. Thank you so much, VLS Shortcakes. Thank you. What level Reiki am I, Miranda? I am a Reiki master teacher level. I've been doing this since 2015. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. Um, I got started. I've been a meditation coach since. Um, I've been a meditation coach since 2013. And I learned about Reiki at a workshop. And right away, I knew... I needed to know more. I knew that I had Reiki energy. I just needed to know how to use it. And so shortly after that, I began my journey and I got certified and then I continued to do it. I do need more mods. I have really good mods. They just, a lot of them do their own lives. And so I think some of them are on right now. But also, I do think like this Sebastian, I think that 
Sebastian needs a lot of attention right now and that's why Sebastian's in my comment area. So if all my empaths can just give their positive energy to Sebastian so Sebastian can have all the attention that they need and then after that we can continue. Yes, there we go, Sebastian. There we go. Thank you, Mama Dukes. Thank you, Holly. I wish you the best too, Sebastian. Thank you for being here tonight. That is really good magic. Thank you, blue eyes. Thank you, shortcakes. Hi, Brooklyn. Thank you, Steve. Hi, Tom. Thank you, Lois. There you go. Oh, this is very helpful for children and thank you, Cami. Hi y'all, baby. Jennifer, my passionista. Thank you, Blue Heart. So Reiki really promotes. Oh, I'm sorry that you had a bad week. I hope this helps. Reiki promotes self-healing. So say you have a sickness or you have um, depression, anxiety. What happens is you should always see somebody like in the medical field or psychiatric field um, to get help, but also your body has energy sources in it that also do self-healing. And so with your healing from your doctor and with Reiki, a lot of people tend to heal faster because their mind and their spirit are helping them heal and their energy too. So thank you, Blue Heart. And so I'm still continuing to scan over our crown chakra. Oh, thank you, Kat. Thank you, Wawa. Thank you, Holly. Hmm. I hope it's working, Kevin. All right. Thank you, Marcus. Okay, thank you, Blue Heart. Okay. Thank you, TV Sunday. Okay, Smokey. Hi, Adriana. I see that we have another person that needs attention. I saw Smokey in there, so if we can please pray for Smokey. Send positive healing energy. Thank you. Thank you, Stinky Mama. Thank you, Blue Heart, for giving Smokey the prayers. 
That's great, Kevin. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Brittany. Yeah, it's definitely. Hi, Anne. Thank you guys for passing the energy also on to Smokey. Seems like it's helped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great, Carrie. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. It's it's low, Rana. Thank you, Blue Heart. Thank you, Axe Shadow. I'm just going to use Zelenite tonight um, and some rose quartz. Is there one for the heart chakra? There is. We'll be. Oh, thank you, Jeev. I don't really sell crystals. I mean, I do have Reiki kits that I do have, but I use those for my Reiki courses. I can recommend, though, when you guys buy your crystals, is if you, your town or city or city nearby has, like, a good gym show, like, that's the best place to buy crystals, so... You get better deals than if you would go like on Etsy or Amazon or and then also what I like about going to gym shows is you can really like go and hand select what you want you know and that I think there's a lot of fun in that you know so you might pick you might pick uh good luck with your your final Jocelyn Um, but yeah, it's kind of nice just to pick, like, I feel like my crystals kind of call me, you know, like, there will just be one that's kind of, like, it will catch my attention, like the diamond in the rough, you know. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this down to our third eye chakra now that we've worked on the crown chakra. The crown chakra usually helps us with our connection to our universal energy, our connection to our higher power. Um, I like that, 59. So yeah, so anyway, um, it really like our our crown chakra just keeps us connected to our higher higher power our um just like you know our being our spirituality and now i'm working on our third eye and just scanning yeah i do of courses online if you go in my bio there's like a the courses are on there too. And so now I am going to just scan that third eye. The third eye is, thank you, BLS. The third eye is our purpose, our visualization of where we want to be. And sometimes that can get blocked. Sometimes we can get stuck into like everyday life and then forget what our higher purpose is, what our goals are for ourselves. So I find that when I do this scanning the third eye, a lot of people will sometimes feel a headache, they'll feel like it's working. Sometimes you don't really feel too much, but afterwards, like when I'm still scanning, you may feel you may feel like some tingly here. You may feel some, like your forehead might just feel like it just smoothed out, like all the stress just leaves. What part of the body is this for? This is for your third eye. Hi, Piazza. 
hot sensation is good. That means that your third eye is working and it's trying to activate. Yes, definitely. Old Lady Grey is completely right. Make sure that you guys are drinking enough water. All right. Pressure in that area, okay. Thank you, Magic Butterfly. I have to hear that voice because that comes in this live almost every time I do a live and I don't know. I told my daughter that. I was like, who is that? And then she said, mom, that's a compliment. I was like, okay. Hi, mom crazy. All right, I'll see you in a little bit, Kathleen. Your sponsor, that is amazing. You do some good work. Thank you, Jade. The blockage, but you can't pinpoint it. If you have, thank you, Jeff, that's so sweet. If you have a blockages short key, you might be able to pinpoint it if like, Say when we do the throat chakra, a lot of people, they get really tight there where they start coughing. Um, if I'm doing your heart chakra, you might get a little, and I know that sounds a little scary, but you might get like a little chest pain or it might just feel really heavy, like again. And then, um, but what's really neat when you do the heart chakra is that your, uh, your heart like becomes lighter at the end of the scanning. Your head feels tingly, Garcia. That's great. T tingly is good. Um, who said the stomach hurts? The stomach is definitely your solar plexus. So if you're having pain in your stomach, then that is your solar plexus. So your solar plexus, you want to work on you're building confidence, so affirmations. Okay, side of pain, there you go, acorn. So yeah, crying, is crying normal? Yes, crying is definitely normal for a heart chakra because sometimes we're not allowing those emotions out. And so if we're bottling them all up, then of course, when you do something like this, this is self-care, you're allowing those feelings to come out and you're allowing that healing to start happening. So yes, crying so normal. And so with the people with the anger, okay, anger issues you wanna work on root chakra. The root chakra is your stability and usually when people are angry it's fear-based there's something that they're worried about that may be taken away they're worried that they might lose control over something and so it's really anger is anxiety based and that's in your chakra my mind feels peace that makes me so happy how about depression Depression is a little bit of everything. <laughs> I hate saying that, but it is. Um, so with depression, it's really good to work on your crown chakra just because that's that having faith, having spirituality, but also a uh, heart chakra because a lot of trauma happens that causes depression. And so you'd want to work on that. Um, and then, of course, your root chakra. Yes, grounding yourself definitely helps with anger. Something else that helps with these emotions is to get out of yourself for a little bit. So say you're Yes, Angle, I love that. 
going outside, walking in nature barefoot. But also if you have a moment to get out of yourself too. So getting out of yourself means just like going and helping somebody else out, like doing service work. The moment that you get out of yourself and you help somebody else out, you are feeding your soul. Like you are nurturing your soul you are strengthening it, you're strengthening like the depression because you're not thinking about yourself at that moment. Thank you, Lisa. Aw, thank you, Peppa. So yeah, thank you, Lisa. So that's like really important and that's really good to do when you're feeling angry because the anger, like I said before, it's very anxiety based. And so if you're out there helping somebody, you're definitely not going to be feeling angry about helping them and that will pull you out of it for a little bit. Thank you, Krita. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Dolores. Thanks so much, Lisa. What about infertility issues? I'm not really sure. Thank you, Lisa. Um, what I would say is I could tell you what chakra to work on, but I don't know if that would help with infertility. Um, your sacral chakra is your reproductivity uh, chakra. So that is in your, like, in between your hip area. Thank you, Jean. And the person that said that they're feeling very sleepy, that's because your chakras and your aura are doing a lot of work. I get sleepy during Reiki too. All right. Wait, what does it mean when your heart gets tense? So interesting. It means that your heart chakra is trying to work through all of this. Thank you, Pippa. Thank you, CC, CG. All right, let's take another deep breath in. And do one last scan. Oh, creative man. All right, 25 gig. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that you're here. into your life, maybe a soulmate. Hi, Saucy and The tension around your heart. Aww. That is... Tension around your heart really is telling me that your heart chakra is trying to allow you to heal from something right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope that you're finding, getting a vision. I went to a specialist chronic cough allergies. I would work on your throat chakra. Okay, guys, so... I'm going to wrap up now with our third eye and I'm going to take it down to, hi wolves, I'm going to take it to our throat chakra now. Your throat chakra too, working on it is good for, aw. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. So. I am going to now work on our throat chakra and our throat chakra is there to help us with self-expression and communication. Communicating in a very kind and compassionate way but letting people know exactly what you need from them. Exactly what you're feeling, but always saying it in a very kind and compassionate way. You can definitely set boundaries. 
and be firm with people, but also be compassionate and kind with them. I need that a lot. I get angry fast. Aww. Thank you, best love. Just to remember that anger, try to evaluate what the fear is behind it. Watching lightly. I like that. That definitely can help. Thank you, Pippa. So let's just continue to scan over that. Oh, BK. I'm glad that you've been here. Thank you for the roses. Continue scanning over that throat chakra. A lot of us get this one blocked because we try to hold things in. We don't want to hurt people's feelings. And then it all boils up. And then the next thing you know, we're unhappy, we're resentful. And then we either explode or we retreat and so it's very good to make sure that you tell people exactly how you feel but in a very kind and compassionate way setting those boundaries expressing yourself you may feel your throat Continue to tighten up a little, hopefully. Hopefully though, it's starting to loosen up, lighten up. And remember when you breathe in, this color of energy is blue, this color of energy is calm and soothing. Letting those words just flow out exactly how you feel, but very calm, very compassionate and very kind. Thank you, Miranda. All right. Also with your throat chakra, if you have thyroid problems, this can help promote self-healing as long as you're taking your medication though too, but this just helps you heal a little faster or else gives your healing stability. I myself have Hashimoto's and that is a thyroid condition, but I notice that since I do my Reiki self-treatments and I have other practitioners work on me, it helps me feel a lot better because with Hashimoto's you do get anxiety. <laughs> Aww. We're like Hashimoto sisters, Starlight. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, Melissa. But I will say that one thing that Reiki does for me, oh, that's good creative, man. I think Reiki can definitely help your mood because I know a lot of people that have oh, anxiety from PTSD. Thank you, Melissa. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that you're here, Melissa. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Jay. I will... Okay, Nina Star, I'll check her out. There is like this, it's a, I don't, his, he has the, um, the Mickey Mouse ears and he does like the hair stuff. It's like Elijah, I watch him. Thank you, Marco. I'll have to check out Nina Star. And then there is this lady, I really like her a lot. She actually got me a 
a lot of uh, followers and help me out, like mentoring me. She's, uh, it's like soul, it was majestic something, healing, and then she changed. You know who Elijah is? Oh my goodness. I feel like when I saw him, I was like, how could I be missing this my whole life? This is amazing. And then there's the other lady. It's She changed her, her username, but she's absolutely amazing. Thank you, Brittany. I'm glad. Yes. Inflammation. Yes. So working with your sacral chakra and your solar plexus is very good for inflammation. Thank you, 25G. Thank you, Vicky. I'll have to check. I might have that one that you mod for the second girl that you said. Hi, Loa. But if not, I'm going to check her out too. Thank you, Melissa. Hi, musical. Oh, hi, Izzy, Izzy. Stephanie, hi Perlene, hi Lindsay. All right, Anu, I hope you have a beautiful evening and some good sleep. Thank you, Krita. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Izzy, Izzy. You, Melissa. Oh, Stephanie. Hi, Silent. Monica, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to move to our heart chakra. This is a warning alert. This one might feel oh i just got a cooling sensation on my heart chakra wow and i'm moving over to that um so i'm going to go ahead and move to the heart chakra i do want to warn some of you that with the heart chakra there may feel some heaviness there may be some weighing down or some tightness but that is okay those sensations are fine Sometimes they might feel a little disarming, um, but you're completely okay. Just make sure that you're hydrating. And if it does become too much, then you don't have to do all the work today. You know, you definitely don't have to do all the work today. Um, but it is very good to cleanse those. Our hearts, they got to heal, you know. And so sometimes we hold on to stuff and we think that we've healed, we think that we've processed, and it might still be there. So we're gonna work on that. Thank you, Izzy. So yeah, so when you do your heart chakra, it's always good to take those deep breaths in and just make sure that they go all the way down to your abdomen. I always imagine like breathing in that beautiful green energy and it just making my heart like super green and recharging. So, um, so let's go ahead and get started with that and just scan and breathe in nice and big. Thank you, Marco. Let's go ahead and exhale and release and let go. Take another deep breath in. Inhale, breathing in that beautiful green energy, recharging that heart and making it nice and strong. And exhale, letting go, letting go of the hurt, letting go of the trauma, letting go of 
what you have to overcome, letting it all go. Inhale again, nice and big, green energy, breathing it in, letting it go. Now exhale and release and let go. Let go of that hurt you've been through enough. It's time to let it go, let it go, let it go. Breathe in again, nice and big. And now I'm going to go ahead and use the rose quartz, making your heart lighter, making it feel gentler, letting that energy just slowly hug your heart with kindness and compassion. You've been through enough, it's time to let it go and treat yourself better. It's time to let your heart repair. Oh, purple gummy. That's a good starlight. Let's let it go. Let's take another deep breath in. Hi, Beto. Breathe in nice and big. And exhale and let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Sometimes it takes a while to let go of things that have hurt you, but you can go ahead and let it go for tonight. Take another deep breath in. And let's exhale real big. Let go, let go, let go. Now I would like you to take a big breath in as big as you can. And this time hold that breath and imagine your heart just becoming this vibrant, green color. It's nice and strong. And exhale and let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. All Take another deep breath in, breathing in that beautiful green energy. Thank you, Jade. Hi, Nai. And exhale and let go. Thank you, Creative. Hi, Angel. green energy, letting it wrap itself around your body, and go ahead and exhale, and let go, let go, let go, thank you, Miss Concha, thank you, Short Scorpio, thank you, User 23. Breathe in again, nice and big. Thank you, Brittany. And let's exhale and let go, let go, let go. Thank you, 25K. Thank you, Brett. Let's breathe in nice and big again. Hi, Curly. Breathing in that beautiful green energy. And let's exhale and let go. Creative moon, your heart's doing so much work. That's amazing. Thank you, Gecko. Anonymous. And 
let's go ahead and breathe in one more time nice and big that green energy and this time really let your heart really let it get nice and strong nice and powerful Go ahead and take it to our solar plexus. Hey, Emma. So our solar plexus is right underneath our rib cage. So this is where our high Molly. This is where our confidence lies. This is where our carefree lies. Our um, this is also where inner strength is. And so sometimes when we're having insecurities or a lot of times you're going to be a Reiki master. That's amazing, exciting. Um, so a lot of times when people, thank you, Miss Garrett, when people have this, hi, Amy, um, when there's blockage, it happens to all of us, and that's because we all, we basically let other people, uh, tell us, like, how, you know, how we're supposed to feel and everything, and so... It's really good to kind of let go and get that childlike feeling, you know, when we didn't judge ourselves and we just were carefree and, and everything. It's good to get back to that place. So I really have you guys like, thank you, Yumi. I really have you guys like try to think of a time in your life that you felt most confident. And when we do this scanning, just try to remember what it was about that time in your life. Like, what were you thinking? And yeah, Reiki is good to do daily. Um, but yeah, it's really good to just remind yourself of those qualities because most likely you still have those qualities. So how do you ignite them again? So let's go ahead and scan this one. And yeah, you can close your eyes so if it's more comfortable. You'll still receive the healing. Thank you, Baby Mitch. Thank you, Miss Garrett. You're so kind. Okay, it's good to close your eyes if that's more comfortable for you. How often? I go live um, probably about or I would say anywhere between one to five times a month. This is selenite. And I saw Starlight say that she was interested in courses. I do have courses myself because I am Reiki master level teacher. And so um, if you're interested, I made them super affordable because I feel like this is really a gift that if you feel like you have it, then you, there shouldn't be anything holding you back from lighting. Hi, Melissa. I hope if you're interested, then you can take my classes too, or I don't know. Oh, thank you, Melissa. You're so sweet. You close your eyes on your throat and your heart. Do you have beginners? I do have beginner. And so what I like about beginner Reiki, Reiki 1, is really when you get attuned to be Reiki 1, thank you, Miss Garrett. It's really neat because you can do Reiki self-treatments on yourself. You can also do them for family members and you can do them um, for uh, the, uh, you can also do them um, for like your close circle. And I, that's, so I saw somebody say that they have Reiki one. I would definitely, 
I used my Reiki one for six months just on my friends and family. And I swear I made my kids get Reiki treatments every night, like, <laughs> and my husband. <laughs> But also my friends, I would just be like, hey, I'm gonna try this Reiki healing on you. And what was cool is that they would tell me that they felt better and they would want me to come over more. So, okay, Caroline, I hope you have a beautiful night. Thank you, creative moon. Thank you, Melissa. So yeah, I that's what I would recommend is pull your friends in on it it's going to feel so good to them but i would really take that couple of months to really feel you know the energy i and it's really neat like i would say your first year of being a reiki practitioner you kind of go on like this pink cloud of like energy like because you're just so excited to like give back and it's like such a like neat feeling to be able to feel people's energy oh blue echo they're in my bio if you have a chance after this you can look but i would love to have you guys in my course too so let's take another deep breath in. and we're still working on that solar plexus oh thank you jeff hi cbs hi alicia Okay, that would be nice. Blue echo. Pink cloud. Your energy is calming. Thank you. So, I'm still going to continue working on the solar plexus. So take a nice deep breath in and exhale, purple gummy, yeah. So if you're pulling energy and it's weighing you down, there is, there, if they call, <laughs> it, I feel like it's like, so I don't really, I don't know if you guys notice, I might wear shirts that say cuss words, but I don't really do a lot of cussing myself but um so like when i say certain words so the word that i'm gonna say like i feel like it's a bad word but it really isn't it's um they call them uh energy vampires and <laughs> so an energy vampire is somebody that sucks all the energy out of you and so yeah i see somebody saying if you're an empath also if you're reiki healer why don't you cuss i don't know like when i when I do, it sounds so fake. Like, I just, I'm not a cusser. Now my husband, he says every word in the book. I don't get offended by cusses, but for some reason, I don't know. They just don't come out right for me. But yeah, so it's like a, an energy vampire. That's what they call them. And so they take all the energy out from you and they leave you with nothing and they're very exhausting. So the way that you can heal yourself from it is you can get this, like you not this, I don't sell these, but this is a amethyst, it's a healing crystal. And so if you take that and you do Reiki on it daily, also if you're around somebody, always make sure. I, I know it's, it's not a cuss word, but it feels like I'm saying something derogatory to somebody about somebody, but it isn't. You're right. So yeah, but that's what I think that, you know, if you can find a way to protect your energy, something that works for you. Also, selenite's really good to just kind of scan yourself like daily to protect your aura. Um, but there are different things that you can do and it's really important since you know that about yourself is to start protecting yourself. Thank you. All right, let's take another deep breath in. All right. 
that's awesome, Melissa. Yes, you are right, Mariah. I know, it's funny, I saw the person say that they use that under their uh, pillow. I have these like at my desk at work sometimes, just like, um, I do like astrology. I do like, uh, that's cool, Mariska. So I like having these, like I'll put them on my desk at work or I'll put them like, just around like areas that I may feel like there might be some negativity just to help protect my energy too. My cat just say, cats love Reiki. Oh my goodness. Aww. Aww, Shannon. That makes me happy. Oh, that's awesome, what's that? Oh, baby Mish. Hey, Melissa. Where can I find this crystal? So, these crystals are, um, you can get crystals. I was telling somebody else earlier, like, I'm sure you could get crystals off Amazon. You can get them off Etsy, but if you're looking to get, like, crystals that, um, you know, like, that one, they're affordable, but also, like, where you, I feel like when I go to a gym show, like, that's my place. Like, I'll just go and hand pick what's calling me. Oh, hi, June Nora. Oh, nice. You guys have to follow June Nora. She's my moderator. She is like so adorable. I love her and she's so sweet. I saw somebody else say that they got theirs at a fair. Yeah, like I feel like you just, there's other places that you can go and you can really like hand pick your crystals. I feel way better. I feel like my crystals call to me. You can, um, but you know, I do these things like on my, like every night before I end this, I usually do, um, I usually do the Reiki principles and the Reiki principles help out with, uh, like protecting that energy. Because when you say them every day and every night, it reminds you to protect yourself. Thank you, Junoya. Thank you, Melissa. All right. Alright. Okay. That's yeah, I'm Melissa. Okay. So now can we just look up the Reiki principles? Yeah, you could Google them if you wanted to. And it's just five, like and I'll be doing them at the end of the night too. You should, like, if you do Reiki, if you practice Reiki, a good symbol to learn is the Chokurei. Um, that activates your energy. But to be doing Reiki, you have to have an attunement by a Reiki master to practice it. But those are some of the symbols. And then also a good habit to get into when you are doing Reiki is doing your Reiki principles. And if you do Reiki for somebody else, it's really good to have that other person repeat the Reiki principles with you. That's good. Oh, your dogs came over. Oh, thank you, what's up? Okay, I 
always say the best one is so nice. going to go ahead and take it down to our sacral chakra. Our sacral chakra is where we get our sensuality, where we get our creativity. It also helps hold our emotions too. And so we're going to go ahead and release, take away any dark energy, anything that's blocking us here in this area of our life. Oh, thank you, 75. The music that I have on is, uh, I'm going to put together a playlist because I have a random playlist that I put together for these and that is I have some Native American, there's flute, there's uh, rain sticks, there's chanting and drumming. The Reiki style that I use is I'm a Osui Reiki master. Hi from Brazil. I will definitely let you guys know when I put together this playlist. Sometimes I do get that. That is awesome. What's your background? Is that real or green screen? Oh, it's real. This is, I put this together. You can see it's real because my bed's messy. But uh, I made one of these little uh, canopy things and it was really fun to make. So if you guys ever, ever, ever want to make one, it's so, I love it. But it was pretty easy to make too. And then I have like a little light that makes the stars on the ceiling and then I have my favorite uh, my favorite tapestry back there what sparked my spiritual journey um, my spiritual journey began um, so my whole life I felt like I had energy um, every time that I would give somebody a hug like I could feel if they had good energy if they had like sad energy or lonely energy and it would make me want to hug them even longer you know which I know 
may not make sense to some people, but that's just how I knew that I had energy. But what got me into it is I am in recovery and I got into recovery from alcohol and drugs about nine years ago. Well, I have nine years now, so I'm coming up on 10 years. And, oh, thank you. <laughs> so when I got into recovery, there was a meditation coach there and that helped me. My anxiety was so bad. I didn't, like, I didn't even know how I was gonna live clean and sober and meditation was the only thing that helped me. And then when I was, I got out, I learned how to do, when I got out of rehab, I, that was the first thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to go and get, oh, I love this. <laughs> People are sharing their recovery with me. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. And so what was amazing is that when I learned meditation, I knew that I had to teach other people. Like I was like, this is like a gift, you know? And if I knew how to do this like way before, I would have stopped using a lot sooner. And um, because I would have known how to like cope with all those emotions that you use like when when you're out there using and drinking and so but because i learned the meditation i learned how to teach it to other people and i went to school to become a meditation coach and also drug and alcohol counselor so that's my day job <laughs> but so but with meditation i feel so deeply about it and then when i learned the meditation thank you guys so much i love all the love and i love that you all are sharing your recovery with me too because recovery is very vulnerable um but the neat thing about it is that 2015 i was at a workshop for meditation and then that's when they taught me how to well, I heard about Reiki and then that's when I said, okay, I need to learn Reiki. I need to, you know, because I know that that energy, that energy has always spoke to me. And so as soon as I started my journey with Reiki, I became a Sui 1. I did that for six months, then I did a Sui 2. And I'm not saying that it has to take that long for everybody. That's just my journey. Um, I kind of just wanted to feel everything about that journey and really take it all in and stay as present as I could with every moment. And that's how I do every part of my life now. I take every moment of my day and set intention with it. It's very important. I think that a lot of people that are in recovery like do that um, just because we've been given a second chance on life. So, so yeah, so that's, my story and then after that then I decided the same thing with meditation I want to teach other people how to do meditation I want to teach them how to if they want to start their own practice if they want to be a meditation coach like I do all that with people too and that's what I did with Reiki I became Reiki master level so then I could help people because I feel like when you have the gift of healing there's a reason somebody helped you and you want to pay it forward. So, oh, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Izzy. Oh, thank you, Mariah. I hope you get good sleep tonight. You want to learn it all. You should learn it all. I bet you'll be amazing. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Miss Garrett. Yes, yes, what's up? Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jade. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, thank you, June Nora. Thank you, 
go ahead and do a root chakra and then after we scan that oh thank you purple belly do i have a youtube i do it's not the greatest i have to be honest my youtube has just like a couple of my tiktoks i'm working on it but I don't know. I gotta get better. All right. Thank you, Miss Garrett. Root chakra is so important. Yes, that's our foundation and our grounding and our stability. Okay. Take another deep breath in. This time we're going to breathe in a beautiful red, vibrant, ruby energy. And we're going to take that breath all the way down to our lower spine. And let's exhale and let go. And I see that's a great question that you know what I'll put in there. Let's take another deep breath in. Inhale. Are you letting go of fear? Are you letting go of anxiety? Worry? Doubt? Inhale. Breathing in that beautiful red energy. And let's exhale and let go, let go, let go, let go. Inhale again, nice and big. And let's exhale and let go and release. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Inhale again, nice and big. breathe in and let's exhale let go let go let go let go let go let go Start feeling lighter, more relaxed. Let's inhale again, nice and big.
breathe in again, really connecting with the universe, connecting your mind, body, and soul. Thank you, Miss Garrett. So we're coming to the end. I do apologize, but I am getting sleepy. But we did do the full body scan. So what I want to do is end it how we always end it. And that is with the Reiki principles. So, so we'll go ahead and get started with those. And so I would like you guys just to please repeat after me. And if you guys do have time to Google the Reiki principles, let's see. All right. So if you have time to Google the Reiki principles, like I said, if you could follow them even just for 30 days, it will, it will absolutely change your mindset. So um, not that I'm saying that you have to change your mindset because a lot of you already seem so positive and so sweet. So maybe share them with somebody that you think might need them. But we'll go ahead, please repeat after me. So, um, aw, <laughs> that's so awesome. So please repeat after me. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will live in gratitude. Just for today, I will work honestly. And just for today, I will be kind to all living creatures. Namaste. I'm gonna cry. You guys are so sweet. I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful evening and I promise I'm going to try to come back on this weekend, okay? 
have a good night thank you and thank you june nora so much for modding thank you izzy izzy it was great having you here and um i if you guys do have a chance please follow june nora she is absolutely absolutely the most adorable person i've seen on tiktok so please 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 follow her and have a beautiful night guys thank you